Okay, so hi everyone, my name is Chen Hao and today I'll be talking about the differences between make and make install. So in one sentence, make is the command you use to compile your source code into an executable, whereas make install is installing that executable into the system path. So let's briefly what it is, I'll go into detail what it means as I go through this example. So let's say I wanted to install Python, right? I wanted to build Python from source. So you can see that if I open my terminal and I type Python, then Python currently isn't installed. So the easy way out right, is to just sudo app install Python um, and the app, the package manager will settle it for me. But let's say I, was, uh, I wanted to try out installing it myself. So what I need to do, I need to go over to the source and install the Python source. So I'm just going to install Python 2.7, right? Because I've already installed Python 3 on my system, right? So Python 3 is installed, but Python 2 is not. So I'll take a chance to install Python 2. W get so let's get the source by W getting first. So I'll speed this up. Okay, so the, the first good practice to always do when you install a new package is to read the README, right? So the README of information that they want you to know, right? So to start building it, you must use over here, they give you some instructions, right? To start building it, you type configure, then you do make and then you do make install, right? So that's those are the good, good instructions. So, okay, so let's go ahead. So the first step we're gonna do is configure. So I'll talk about what configure does in another video, right? But then now we have some errors, let's go ahead and resolve it. Okay, so now we have installed GCC, right? So let's go ahead and just configure. And in fact, configure is running successfully. So right, what configure does is it basically check your system for a bunch of prerequisites, a bunch of dependencies, right? Things that Python will need to install successfully, right? And at the same time, configure is also generating the make file because when you have the source code, you might be compiling it for different systems. So what configure does is configures your make file, right? In order to, for you to be able to run make, build the source code for your system. Right, and you can put in a bunch of other configure flags as well. So for example, if you want to enable optimizations, then you can do configure dash dash enable optimizations. But anyway, we have configured successfully. So you see at the moment, if I type Python, right, Python still isn't installed yet. You're going to see that, see that the Python will appear over here. Okay, so now that I have successfully made Python, right, if we go ahead and ls, yeah, we're going to see that there's a new Python executable over here. So in fact, if I list it in this, you can see that this is an executable. Um, if I go ahead and type dot slash Python, then we jump into this Python executable, right? But you see the problem is that sure, now I have successfully compiled Python into an executable, but I can't access it from anywhere, meaning that if I go into the parent directory, right? And I try to access Python, then it's going to say no such file is found because there's no Python executable in this directory. And if I wanted to access it, right? Sure, I can, I can try I can try hard enough. I can go into the file, right? And execute Python, but then that's very inconvenient. So instead, that's what the purpose of make install does. So make install, right? Would install it into your system path. So what is system path, right? If I echo my system path right now, right? This is where when I type commands like cd, right? Or ls, right? This is where Ubuntu goes to look for them. So you'll first look in user local slash user local as bin. Then your second thing you'll look at user local bin. In fact, if I type cd, right? The reason why cd works is because if cd, right? Is in one of these paths, right? So if I go ahead and in order to find which path to find it from, I can use the which command, right? So the which command, it helps you locate a command, right? So if I do which cd, then you can see um, the which cd doesn't work, right? Let's check ls. ls is located in bin ls. So if I see bin ls, right, then it is, it is referring to this path over here. Likewise, there's other commands, right? If I see which, let's say gcc was a, which is a, a command that I use to uh, compile, right? The reason why I can type GCC and it can work is because, is because 
user bin is in this path, right? So you can look at user bin is over here, right? So meaning that when I type GCC, right, it will first look at it first look at this directory ask and ask, is there a user local S bin GCC? And there isn't, right? So you go on to the next path. Is there a user local bin GCC? And there isn't, and you'll continue down the line, right? Separated by the colons until it goes over here if, and finds user bin GCC. So right now Python isn't installed, right? Because it's not in this system path over here. So in order to install it to the system path, I need to use net install. Okay, right now it says that it doesn't have permissions to install it because it's trying to install it in user local bin. So instead, we need to use sudo make install. And we need to just enter the sudo password. And then you see that it's installing it in one of those system paths up there. And finally, now if we type Python, right? Now, if we go into any directory we want and type Python, then we can see that Python is installed in the system path. And how do I prove it to you? Right, if I type which Python, then you can see that it's installed in user local bin Python. And in fact, user local bin is one of the paths in here. All right, so I hope that uh, this helps. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you.